Good afternoon. My name is Nair Santana. I'm Brittany Frederick. Johnny Hicks. Jessica Bertoff. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but in elementary, you learn something called the three R's, which are reduce, reuse, recycle. More and more people have realized that recycling will help stop, will help reduce pollution. For the past couple of years, pollution has increased and a lot of organizations are going green, such as McDonald's. McDonald's in 1990 started their started a, a production using polystyrene containers, such as polystyrene containers, such as other fast food companies, thinking that this would be a better, efficient way to reduce p pollution in landfills and other certain areas. Um, the pros in polystyrene were they were lightweight, that um, they did not absorb grease and that they kept the hamburgers warm. Later in the years, they, McDonald's has realized that they started giving off toxic, toxic fumes, so they stopped what they were doing. They pulled out of the production and started going back to paperback because they're saying that this would, um, it, it would cause a hazard to a lot of people. Um, and paperback they use, it's very recyclable. Paper now we're using so much that we can recycle paper and not stop and stop cutting down trees, even though that's what paper use is paper has come from, but we can still stop that. Um, that most of they said the burgers the burger shells were only used for Big Macs. But in other words, but most of the other burgers are always used by paper. So why not use recycling in that area? <laughs> Pollution was another big issue brought forth by this case. The difference between the polystyrene and the paperbacks for some of the pros is the vice president of a random company came forward and said that using polystyrene uh, cases would be 30% less energy for manufacturing, 40% less air, and 42% less water pollution in general. That's what she believed. But when we looked further into the case and read the fine print, we found that paperboard, someone came forth and said, no sound basis for claiming that, there's no sound basis for claiming that using paper products was environmentally superior to using polystyrene for other plastic based materials. She basically meant by that is, you can't base that, oh, you're basically kind of plastic or foam material, that's what they're going to use, was a foam material, is going to be better than using our paper because there's no study basis on it. How can you say that, yes, 30% less, less for manufacturing, but now you're going to need new machines to, prevent, to make this new foam case? And with paper, everybody has machines now. Yes, new... Um, uh, developments in technology are being used so we can have fa faster uh, reproduction of these. Um, the cons, uh, s special recyclable machines, <laughs> as I said. Much more people will rely more on paper because we can recycle now more than what we would with foam. We can't recycle that and use it as much. And with this, McDonald is only using it for most, most of their Big Macs and Whopper 2 to their steak burgers. With everything else, they use their paper to wrap just regular hamburgers. So why not tell McDonald's, since they are a, such a leading commander in this, that they should use just paper and keep putting recyclable sta stamps and make sure that when you leave a McDonald's, there's normally two uh, trash cans by the door, right? I never realized how much paper McDonald's does use up. Why not have two recyclable trash cans on the other side for things such as their paper that they want to get away? Fries and containers can go in another one. McDonald's can make their own step in making pollution go down just by recycling their own paper used every single day. Yes, and I like. Yes, and I like to add about the 
the special recyclable machines. They're, McDonald's is spending $16 million on supplying these seven, to be specific, special recyclable machines when the rest of their burgers or whatever you want to call it, hamburgers, uh, are used with paper. It makes no ethical sense just to use this pyrosterin um, boxes instead of the paper board. It can cut on the spending since we're in economic times. It can help McDonald's out also. So that's what I believe. Palestine also has filled up landfills and it takes longer to bio biodegrade, ca causing more money for the organizations to get rid of the stuff. But paper is more, uh, recyclable and which it would cause, over time, it would cost less and less as we, as we keep on reuse and recycle, like I said, the three R's, re, re, reduce, reuse, recycle. Paper will be less and less to our expense. And McDonald's also has wasted $16 million for, for building plants, bio, Biostein plants, which they had just dropped completely in like in a matter of years, and so they just wasted sixteen million dollars. Personally, if I had sixteen million dollars, I'd be in the suburbs somewhere. <laughs> Johnny. Another thing that they did a, t uh, a status on was they went to, there was a certain schools that were put, um, that made little children write down little, like little notes of saying what, what would happen if they changed fully to polystyrene boxes. And kids wrote that they would start, that they would write letters to the founders of McDonald's and who else were, that were doing this and say that if they don't stop making these polystyrenes, that they will start boycotting McDonald's. And that if they boycott McDonald's, that's mostly their generation is uh, little kids. Uh, they always have like play pens in there for little kids so more people would come to get more food. So if all they have is little kids as their basic little, basically generation, then... Oh my goodness. <laughs> then, so if the kids were going to boycott, that would like decrease their, they would shut them down completely, basically, because that's what they're looking for. So, if you, what, would you take a chance in paperback or would you take a chance in polystyrene? Yes, it might be more efficient, but if you look in the long run, it will fill up landfills. Uh, it's very slowly biodegradable. It doesn't biodegrade that much. So, we took our, my colleagues and I took a chance in saying paperback because even though it does kill more trees, if we start recycling it more, it would kill less in the, out, in the outcome. And that's all we have. Unless you have something. Yes. I'd like to conclude um, by saying this, this uh, case is truly unique, isn't it? It is. This is kind of weird. But um, McDonald's is the world's largest fast food chain in the world. And I believe they should be the epitome of environmental conscientiousness and do whatever is right for, to uh, make their uh, company go green. And um, referring back to our introduction, we use the three R's. Since we've been learning that from elementary school, I know I have. If it's a, a, a person comes in the class at least once a year, talks about the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, and the importance of it. And uh, we believe that uh, McDonald's should, uh, ha yeah, has a chance to change the world when doing those three aspects. And uh, that's what we truly believe, my colleagues and I. Paper products were more, more environmentally superior. So, what led you to the decision that um, that it was better for McDonald's to go with paper products, with paper board instead of the polystyrene? 
McDonald's has a basis to change the world, as Nair stated. The paperbacks are more ineffective because they, they're talking about using these containers for only one specific burger that they use. They'll probably use it for their Big Macs and their new Angus burgers. Now, whenever McDonald's comes out with a new um, burger, thank you, <laughs> um, all the other food chains try to compete. McDonald's or Burger King will come with, out with their new steak burger. Um, Wendy's came out with their Baconator and also now their new blue cheese. They're basically start setting the bar for other people and they use, everybody else uses paper in general. So why not just stick with your paper when you can have these recycling bins come and make it more energy efficient for your economy so you can use, reuse these papers again so we wouldn't have to cut us down as many trees. I think the Pro-Environment Packaging Council was acting ethically. You're okay. That was yours. Excuse me, can you repeat the question, please? <laughs> the Packaging Council was trying to convince them to change. Do you think they acted ethically? Well, uh, they did have the reasons. Sure, they were acting ethically, ethically but um, as stated before, McDonald's was wasting $16 million in, uh, in these plants, in this, these times. Sure, when there's an economic boost in the economy, we can take that plan into consideration. But anything that would help McDonald's would be uh, priority number one, at least for now, in these times. Once the economic uh, goes up, economy goes up, then, sure, we'll uh, do with whatever is ethical in their point of view. Well, at first, it said that um, it was only a case study to see what would actually be going on. It was a four-year case study, and then they realized that it wasn't going right. We can understand that, yes, some people may lose their jobs, but they should have just started little at first, like in one area, to see if it would be a, bene a beneficial in the long run, but they didn't. They just jumped right to it because they said, oh, it sounds right. They didn't look into the details of it. So it would be a very bad thing. A lot of people would lose their jobs, but if we're looking for a better way to recycle that we can open up instead of um, the if plants, we can open up recycling plants and like process uh, more garbage that way instead of just dumping them all into the landfills we can process we can make more machines instead of going to the landfills they can come here and separate the garbage as it needs to be glass paper plastic and stuff like that so i mean oh yeah thank you thank you i think what she's trying to roundabout say is people will lose their jobs for this manufacturing company but now mcdonald's will have to open up maybe not seven but new recycling companies which people can pertain their jobs from one to another because they're still doing the same kind of work helping reduce reuse recycle before with a foam but now with paper paper is a lot more and you you're gonna need those people who were schooled in foam recycling now they're gonna need new schooling so now they have to go, to go through schools again which opens up for more teaching jobs and more jobs for when they come because people will have to train them on how to work these new machines but didn't the overall research indicate that polystyrene was actually overall better for the environment than the paper was well Sure. Uh, it, yes, it was, but um, then why would you advocate to move to the paper? We would advocate to move to the paper because we would be moved to do have more um, uh, more going green programs for McDonald's but than going paper. It wasn't going green. But with the paper, we can uh, as like for example, you're going into a McDonald's restaurant, you're eating your food, and you go to throw it away. You can separately throw things away, like do a program like that for McDonald's. Yes, the polystyrene is more, more green. green, of course, but 
we can do programs like that in McDonald's to establish uh, a program, a uh, Goy Green program, instead of doing the Paisaring at them. And uh, what he's trying to say is that the Palestinians release toxic fumes, and like I said earlier, they filled up landfill on um, yeah landfill. So all around, do you think it will increase increase pollution or decrease? For a short time, it might decrease, but for the long run, it will increase overall. But the $16 million that McDonald's was wasting was actually for the recycle plants for the, sty for the polystyrene. So it was, in, it's a very small amount that was going into a landfill. So if your original group statement is that, yes, the polystyrene overall was more green, then I don't understand the opinion of going to pay. The recycling, um, the recycling of mounds, that they, the places that they built were only to make the polystyrene. It wasn't to put them in after they were done being used. It wasn't there for them to biodegrade. They're saying after they're done and they go in the landfill, they'll be biodegrading and they'll fill it up because they take very, very much time to very slowly be di biodegradable. So it'll take so much years for it to degrade. And when it does, it releases m even more fumes because even at that time, it's it releasing them, but then when they start degrading even more, when they release more. Where did you cite that from? Um, uh, the uh, second paragraph um, is actually because of the size and the, 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 the denominant position. McDonald's became the target of the Environmental Defense Fund, which said that marketing polystyrene packaging created toxic fumes and it took too much landfill and that it took too long to biodegrade. But wasn't that later discredited by the Audubon Society, by the Reason Foundation, and also by Stanford Research? It could have said that, and we might have missed that. That's our fault, but... <laughs> so, I didn't see that. Yeah. Can I sorry. maybe um, ask a question that's related? In the whole area of corporate social responsibility, the power of public opinion is very important. Could you comment on how public opinion influenced this case and the decision-making? Um, when they... When McDonald's went to Palestine, kids from Forbes magazine had boycotted, which will make them lose more money or put them out of business in the long run. So, can you just say that question, please? It's about the power of public opinion. So, yeah. you correctly point out if you're getting media coverage. Yeah. That portrays McDonald's as environmentally irresponsible, and you've got the children backing this campaign. That was certainly one, one important element of it. Yeah, the children. Now, um, personally, I go to McDonald's almost every day in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Speak with some authority. Yeah, <laughs> and my mom hates McDonald's. So, see, I'm still to her eyes. I'm still a kid, but I'm man. So, most of the um, McDonald's money are coming from kids. So, McDonald's w might have uh, might go out of business if the kids are boycotting them. And I think most of the money from McDonald's come from their kids meals and and they mighty kids meals. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think McDonald's gave up the fight too soon? I mean, they started out saying we're going to recycle polystyrene, and then. The next thing you know, they're abandoning that. Should they have maybe invested in some education? Or what point of their sales should they lose before they walk away from the decision that they made that was a corporate responsible decision about recycling? It's not, <laughs> it's not that they didn't think about the issues. It's just that they didn't like retreat too early. It's, it, this is a four-year thing that was going on, and that 
ch that after a while they start getting complaints and more complaints. Yes, they maybe should have took the time and went in to see what could be all the problems that could go wrong with polystyrene because maybe they could have made something happen to produce it better that it wouldn't release toxic fumes or something like that. They probably should have got a little bit more education instead of just like, oh, well, this would help us save more money, so let's just dive right into it. It's not always about saving money. It's always talking about taking care of your customers because the customers are the people who take care of you. So if you, if they would have put that into mind first, maybe it would have turned out a little bit more better and not putting most of their money into those, those, um, those plants and then retreating later and losing all that money. They could have put that money somewhere else into their, their teachings and learnings of the environment. Alluding back to Dr. Bun's uh, question, you stated that about human and the human, um, the media importance. Is that what you? The of the media, yeah. Yes. Well, the media importance is, if I had a company, it'd be the most important thing to me because the media is what people see on the TV, and people is customers to me. So that importance would be tremendous. And uh, McDonald's, if I was McDonald's president or something, that would be the best thing or the most important thing that. I would have in my mind or in my eyes. Thank you. Thank you so much.